Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's see. I can see some flapping of the tent there. But it doesn't seem to be any gusts. Oh, man. What a. Oh. That's the one layer. What is the time? It is 6.04. I've been awake for ages, really, on and off. I'm not used to going to bed so early, so I woke up at about 2. Oh, well, hopefully this cloud cover clears up. Looks like it'll be a uh, spearfishing day. At least in the water it should be alright. Unless, of course, this suddenly is pushing all that gunk into the uh, that section again where I really wanted to go. If not, we can try over there. Yeah. Tee on again. Well, it's starting to look a little better outside. Or well, the cloud cover's melting away and the sun's going to start actually making it look a little bit nicer. We'll um, look at the best spot. But yeah, let's just uh, have something to eat and uh, reassess. <laughs> Come on, wind. Really would be nice if it dropped. Man, I just cannot tell you how happy I am. That is a pretty big deal for me. Cold trout has always been on my list of fish that I wanted to get. It's always been a goal. Had a big fillet for breakfast. <laughs> I'm starting to shiver, I'm getting cold. Oh. All right, I'm getting this. Might just get a warm top on and then go and fill it this guy straight away. Okay. Okay, buddy. Bring you. And I might bring a flipper. That'll make it easier. There's a cutting board. And this wind's picking up on this side again, which is annoying. So I might just walk around this part of the island. A little less windy and a bit more warmy because <laughs> I'm starting to freeze up again. That looks like a nice spot to do this. Out of the wind is key. I'm freezing still. I really need to sort that wetsuit thing out. 
just a wetsuit top, just something to take that edge off. And I can stay in longer as well. Maybe just down here. Oh, ah, my finger just got caught in his gills. Oh, oh, oh. Payback, eh, buddy? Ah. Ah. Okay, don't stick your finger in the gills, Rod. There's a lesson there. All right. Wow. What a fish, hey? That is a very, very exciting fish for me. That is a big goal. Get this out. Sharpest knife I've got here. I should have bought a rag. That's what I should have brought. Okay. How are we going to do this? I guess we just get filleting, put the fillets in here. I do have a little bit of cool uh, time left in the esky. I think some of the bottom bottles are still semi sort of frozen. Just work our way down. This is going to be so amazingly beautiful white flesh. Bizarre flesh actually, it's kind of firm and very white. Oh, yeah. This table is not working out for me, it's too low. It's going to take it slow, I want to make sure I get every little bit off. Okay, so we'll leave this half for a second and we'll just deal with this. Might just quickly dip. Okay. Wow. Coral trout, eh? I've eaten it before, but I've never uh, caught one and filleted it before on my own, so this is a real treat for me. I'm enjoying the process. Make sure I get right up against the skin, don't waste any. Which we are, we're doing it well. Wow. Look at that fillet. That is amazing. Oh, okay. One side to go. Might break it up into slightly smaller pieces. Yeah. I've only got a pan that big, so I we'll have to cut it down into pan sized pieces. <laughs> One and two. Some bones running along here. Just one, really, I think. I'm going to pull that out or not. Probably need my pliers. Cut around that one. Oh, there's one of them. Cool. Look at that. It's only one side. Put that in the shade, huh? Okay, mister. So, not a bad job on that first half. Nice and close to the spine. Let's see if we can do as good a job on this side. Yeah, really tough skin, really rubbery. Well, you couldn't ask for a more beautiful spot to be filleting a fish, that's for sure. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright. Give this a bit of a clean. Look at that. So we'll try and get some in the cold part of the fridge or, or esky if there is such a thing at this stage of the game. I froze all the bottles of water that I brought, but uh, it doesn't take long after the car trip up and mucking around for a day. They melt pretty quick, especially in the hot tent. But hopefully we've got just enough to keep it sort of fresh for the day. 
and then I can have some of this later on today as well. First things first, just grab some bags. How cold is it in here? Only just down the bottom, it's not too bad actually, just some cold water. So just keep it closed. It'll keep at least until tonight. I'm gonna eat this one. Now let's get to, uh, what should we do? Cook two. How much I'll cook? I'll cook one half. Maybe that smaller one. Big, big brunch. And then we'll put these ones in here for dinner. And if I get a cray, we will reassess. Get rid of as much of that air. It's gonna be a two part pan meal, I think. There's not much room in there. And you know what? Let's bring that with us. We'll have that. Let's see. That is cold, but I'll put it right down the bottom underneath that bottle. That bottle still feels nice and cool. That'll keep it nice and cool there. You know what? We're gonna need some butter. Butter's nice and cold. Yay much. Probably a bit too much, but whatever. I think we'll just rock it real plain and simple. When you got the best tasting fish in the ocean, I don't think there's any need to overcomplicate it. Ah, okay. Where are we gonna do this? I think maybe right here might be nice. That way I can just look out over the water. Still not too far from camp, just over there. that I'm gonna melt it down. I don't think that'll take long. And then what we might do is we might quickly, uh, we'll just get the tops off this. That one's looking a bit scungy, see you later. So is that one. So we might just wilt all of these greens down. Probably should have only used a little bit of the butter at this stage, shouldn't I? Maybe, we'll get those out. Where's my fork? Ugh. Let's pop that butter there for a sec. And we'll just quickly fry up these greens. Wilt them down. They will only take a second once they get going. A bit of pepper. And a bit of salt on the greens, yum. Get a bit of steam action. Some wilted greens and coral trout, mate. <sighs> Simple. And no doubt, probably the most delicious thing I'm ever gonna eat. All right, those greens are pretty much done. Just pop them down. Don't fall. So we're gonna be eating straight out of the pan, I'd say, so. Put half that butter back in. Might move this down there actually, cause that wind is starting to pick up again. Every now and then some big gusts come through. And once we've got a decent amount of butter, these pans are really terrible to cook with cause they're so thin. They really just don't heat up all the way around. Like they cool off as fast as they heat up. So I'm gonna need uh, that butter in there to sort of get it going. Let's put the big piece in first. Hold the handles just in case it tips. Okay. Wow, look at that. We're only gonna cook it quickly because I got a feeling this thing is gonna be better not cook too much. And we might need to cr crank that up a bit. Let's get some butter around the other side. Oh mate. Those sounds, those sounds are making me hungry. It's a big, thick piece of fish, actually. We have to be careful here, we don't want to go too far. The bottom of these pans heats up real fast while the edges and everywhere else doesn't. 
and get that butter right in under. Do I bring the flip? I think I didn't bring the flipper. Oh, bit of salt and pepper in there. How good is this? Alright, get that butter in the centre. all of these bits are done it's pretty thick in the center but it's just starting to cook through now so I'm almost gonna just pull it off so let that that'll keep cooking oh yeah that's all right so you only want it just as soon as you start seeing it go from clear to white it's time to pull it off these guys are all well and truly done but in here's just starting to get there but I'm gonna pull it off now because I'd rather it undercooked than overcooked let's put the greens back in oh. Just chuck that on there for now. A bit more salt. Always a bit more salt, it's good. And a little bit more pepper. And we are good to eat. How's that for breakfast? Let's just get a bit straight up. Mmm, that is good. Let's get one of these less cooked bits. Because that one, probably you've seen a bit too much because it's one of the thin pieces. How good is that? So clear, so white. That's good. A little bit of greens. I'm going to sit here, enjoy this, and then start thinking about crayfish. Tide's just starting to get full now, I think. Okay, let's try the skiff. The wind is sort of dying down and then picking up and dying down and picking up. So there's no picking it. So I guess we just, uh, we go out and we give it a crack. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put this lure on this one because this one's not as deep a diver so it won't pull as hard on um, the other rod. And apart from that, get that in a sec. Oh. So we want that one on that one and this deeper diver on this one and we're just gonna cut some laps around the island and see what happens. That was a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Trolled around the island four times in total. Went a bit further out, went a bit further in. It's nothing going on. Stopped and dropped on a few things with the plastic. Oh well. Whew. I might get stuck into some lunch. Um, I'm thinking just maybe wraps. So, might just cook up a little bit of the coral trout, put it in the wrap, and uh, yeah. Still got some chips here, and apart from that, maybe sashimi coral trout for dinner. I just uh, gave the fish a little bit of a feel. It's nice and cold still, so it'll be totally fine for dinner. Maybe even tomorrow morning, but tomorrow's my last day, so 
if I get a crane, I'll be eating that. And if not, I'm not going hungry. We've had plenty of food. Anyway, we'll pull all this out. All right. Get our fish. Oh, it's falling apart. Maybe we'll take all this stuff down there onto the beach. Doesn't seem very stable. So simple, these meals, but so delicious. Plus, I've been watching all those young blads films and he's been smashing these wraps. And I was like, man, I would like one of those. <laughs> so now I get to eat a coral trout wrap. Oh, that lemon's getting into my cuts on my hands. Youch. Now they are good looking wraps. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, I've overloaded. Can we do it? We can. Yes. How good's the island? Oh. All right, last chance for a cray today. I've put two trips in uh, and it hasn't worked out. I only saw one in the last trip, which was unusual. So hopefully we find a few more. Sun's starting to get lower. It's just past low tide and I found that uh, at low tide, I would have to work a lot less to uh, get down and check each hole. So low, low tide when it's this clear is actually not too bad. I've ditched the flippers because it's so shallow that I can go with just the sneakers and just float along on the top, just skim across the top of the coral, making sure I'm not sort of damaging any of it. The big flippers sort of get in the way and I just can't kick properly. And I've got killer blisters now, so I'm just going to roll with the sneakers and and uh, that'll be uh, the best I can do, I think, because I think my uh, flipper days are over for a bit. Gonna go first thing as soon as I get back is uh, go to and get uh, booties and a wetsuit top. But let's hit this. I'm feeling pretty buggered, but I'm here and I'm gonna put in the effort. Hopefully, we come out with one. Anyway, let's get in the water. Ooh, <laughs> let's do it. It's gonna be fun. It's paradise rod. Come on. That's all about but I just worked like back and forward through all his whole section and I didn't see one check so many holes it's like they ditched me oh let's get back that's a quite a nice sunset it's been a great day that cold trout has made my day and filled my stomach I tell you uh, nice 